Hi, I'm Javis Lewis and in this video I'm going to show you how to find your YouTube channel's URL. This is of course not as easy as it perhaps could be and in fact there's four ways in which we can find that. I'll show you all four ways and I'm also going to show you why there's three different variations of your YouTube channel URL and I'll explain why that is in the course of the video. Okay, so let's start by opening Safari. I'm on a Mac, by the way, and I'm recording this video in February 2018. So open your favorite web browser, head over to youtube.com and log in at the top right corner. I'm sure you've worked out how to do that without me having to tell you. The second thing, very important, close the ad. Ah, much, much nicer. And uh, to find your YouTube channel URL, you can uh, head over to your little icon here, click it, and then you find my channel. If you open that in a new tab, like uh, right click on it and select open link in new tab, then you will get most of your YouTube channel URLs up here in the URL browser bar. I'm saying most of it because this is much longer than it really has to be. So you'll notice that at the end of this, uh, it follows this pattern, uh, HTTPS colon double forward slash youtube.com forward slash channel, humongous long random string of characters and numbers, followed by a question mark, followed by something that we call a query parameter, as us do that. It's, this is, in this case, it's a key value pair, and that isn't really part of your YouTube channel URL. So feel free to trim that off. So the question mark and including everything that comes after the question mark that can go. So delete that and everything before the question mark, that is your actual YouTube channel URL. That's what you can share on social media, print onto business cards if you're so inclined and so forth. Just to check that hit return and see if it actually brings up your channel. If it does, that's fantastic. Um, be mindful though that if you leave out a character, then you may get up something like this. Well, actually, usually you get, uh, well, this is a much nicer way of showing it. Yesterday, when I was looking at this, you sometimes you get something like a server error, and that doesn't really, that's, that's, nothing, that's nothing good. So uh, make sure you share all those characters after, your, after the youtube.com forward slash channel, uh, including all these things, and then, you know, anything, including the question mark that can be trimmed off. Let me show you what that actually does here uh, before we carry on. This is something for YouTube to be able to figure out who, what, what are you previewing the channel as. So in our case, we have two potential parameters that we can use here. A subscriber means you're watching your channel as somebody who's already subscribed to the channel. Notice that there's no subscribe button up here anymore. And that is certainly not what you want to share with people. The other option is you can replace this with public. And when you do that, you do actually see the preview of, of the subscribe button, but it does actually depend on the user and their own account, if they're actually logged in to YouTube and if they are, are they subscribed to your channel and so forth. So the easiest way to, is to just to trim all this off, question mark and everything, and just leave all this and that is your YouTube channel URL. Well, that's that's one way of figuring it out, because if you're at the front page of YouTube, youtube.com, this menu looks a little bit different than if you are in the creator studio. So should, should you be there in your own creator studio and you click your logo again, you'll find that the link to your channel is no longer there. And uh, that's a little bit confusing. And luckily, YouTube have provided another way of accessing your channel, and that's up here, right underneath your name, it says view channel. And if you use that and open that in a new tab, then you also get to your YouTube channel. Notice that if I examine this URL, it looks slightly different than the one that we've just seen. So this is the one I've opened from inside my Creator Studio, whereas this one is the one that we've opened via the menu when I was on the front page. 
sort of two very different things. Hmm, very interesting. But uh, I'll I'll explain to you later why that is. And uh, yeah, there are two more ways to figure out what your YouTube channel URL is. And that's on the left hand side here under channel. If you click that, you would kind of expect there to be a link anywhere but of course it's not that obvious <laughs> thank you youtube <laughs> your skills of uh, crafting a ui are second to none shall we say second to none in fact if you scroll down to the bottom of this menu then you get this little box here where it says custom url in my case and on this channel it's enabled so if i were to click on that and open that in your tab that also gets me to my channel but this box isn't always available so in fact i'll show you on another channel that i've created only a couple of days ago that this option wasn't there and i'm in fact ineligible for that if you examine the url it once again looks very different to the other one that we've just seen and if you start to twitch with one eye that's totally fine that's just you know they they want you not to understand that really it's not meant to be understood it's grown for historic reasons and it's one of those things we appreciate the free gesture that we can upload videos but hey who expects perfect these days hey one of those things so in this case i'm getting youtube.com forward slash c forward slash some string just make a mental note of that this is also one way of figuring out your youtube channel's url and there's a fourth option i'm going to show you which is similar to the one that i've shown you in the very beginning uh, this menu can be replaced with one that is up here there's these three little dashes next to the youtube icon on the left hand side and if you click that then this menu gets overlaid with another menu which doesn't make it confusing at all does it and so up here we have my channel and if you right click that and open that in new tab you also get to see your youtube channel's url and that is now back to the standard one up here with the myriads of letters and numbers so there we go those are the four ways in which you can access your youtube channel's url if you're in the lucky position that you have more than one channel then you can use this menu up here and select a different channel say this one here and all the same things apply you can from your dashboard you have this option here view channel or from channel down here scroll down you have this option with the custom url if you have it enabled or you have this menu on the left hand side here next to the youtube logo and there's also my channel button here now if you have a channel that is new like this one here then there is uh, there's not a lot of um, stuff going so in fact in the dashboard you will have this option grayed out because there may not be any videos that are uploaded yet so this option is not available but uh, this option is my channel from here and uh, if you go to the channel menu here then on the bottom here you'll see that this channel is currently ineligible for the custom url so there's a little blurb here that explains why if we if we open that in, the, in a new um, tab then we can see this is youtube explaining the meaning of the custom url and also at the bottom here the general eligibility requirements so you have to have more than 100 subscribers and you the channel has to be at least 30 days old you have to have an uploaded photo as the channel icon and you have to have uploaded some channel artwork in order for you know you to be able to define that string if that's all you wanted to know feel free to stop the video here if you're interested in knowing more about why do we have these three different types of url this the the weirdo characters thing the um, c followed by a, a string that you define and something like this where it says where it has the word user in the title watch on because i've made a little chart here to get us all less confused let me show it to you these are the three types of youtube channel urls in existence first is the legacy user id that's the one that has the word user in the actual url and that 
harkens back to the days of when YouTube and Google were in fact two separate entities. Now, I believe YouTube was founded in about 2005 and Google bought YouTube uh, shortly after, only a year later, a year and a half later in November 2006. But they didn't make the change that you're supposed to, or that the only way to log into YouTube was in fact your Google email address like it is today. For a while we could log in as both with our YouTube user ID and with our Google email and then they made it mandatory that we that we use the um, Google email address. And uh, before then, if you set up a channel before then, between 2006 and 2008, and you, you were still given a YouTube user ID, that was tied to the URL of your channel. So that made it very easy to have youtube.com forward slash user forward slash your username. And that URL is still valid today. And that was the first version of the channel URL, which is why I'm calling it version 1.0 here. So that is still available to you if your channel is in fact that old. But after they've made that permanent change that you that you now can only log in with your Google email address, you could create channels as such, but they of course weren't, were no longer tied to a YouTube user because they no longer existed. So that's when Google introduced the version 2.0 standard channel ID. And that's the one with the 24 characters and, and, and uh, uh, numbers in there. So that's the, the, the really ugly one that no one can remember. And uh, they did it, of course, so that they can create a huge number of channels. That was the idea behind it. But the downside of it is because, like, as I said, no one could remember them. And I guess uh, Google would take a little bit of flack for that, which is why they've introduced the version 3.0 thing, which is the vanity or custom URL. And they've introduced that a while later so that you could at least go ahead and uh, as I guess as a replacement for this version 1.0 that you could at least define something that is kind of your own and make it more type-in friendly. And of course, I guess the version 4.0 would be just get a domain and point that at your very complicated standard channel ID and that would be, you know, that could be anything you want, but you have to pay for that. And uh, whereas the vanity and custom URL is kind of free. So that was it. That's how you find your YouTube channel URL. That is why we have so many different ones. And that was it for this video. If you liked it, then please subscribe to my channel and uh, make sure you share this video with friends, family and total strangers. Bye for now. I will see you later.